hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting hard sql problem so please watch this video at the end you learn lots of things so let us start the video first discuss the question question is the write a sql query to merge overlapping events into a single event okay so basically i have one event table and event table having total three columns so here you can see whole id from date and to date okay so now go with the data set so hall id 1 from date is the 5 january and to date is the 9 january okay now go with the again hall id 1 from date is the event uh, from date 6 january and to date is the 10 january so here you can see that this is the overlapping event okay now go with the again hall id 1 from date is the 7 january and to date is the 10 january so these three also overlapping event so here you can see that my expected output is the hall id 1 from date is the minimum date 5 january and uh, end date is the maximum date is the 10 january 10 january and number of total event is the number of event is the 3 okay now go with the again hall id 1 next one is the from date is the 11 january and to date is the 15 january so this is the not uh, overlapping event so this is come in a single row hall id 1 from date 11 January to date 15 January and number of event count is the only one. Now go with the hall ID 2. Hall ID 2 from date is the 15 February and to date is the 19 February. Okay. And now go with the again hall ID 2 from date is the 16 February and to date is the 20 February. So here you can see that these two event is the overlap. So my expected output is hall ID 2 from date is the 15 february and to date is the 20 february and number of event is the count 2 now go with the next one hall id 2 from date is the 21 february and to date is the 25 february so this is the not overlapping so i'll get the count only one okay so let us start the video how we can solve this problem first i have to run the event table okay so here you can see that this is my entire data set okay so first i have to find the row number based on the hall id and from date okay so first i have to find the row number row number row number over order by order by i have to find the row number based on the hall id and from date okay so these i'll getting row number one two three four like that okay order by hall id hall id and from date from date as row number okay so if i run this query so here you can see that i will get all the row number because is the five for five january then six seven eleven like that i'll get the row number one two three four okay so i have to keep in the this output as cte with cte as this select star from cte okay so if i run i'll get the same output okay so first i have to need the where row number equals to one so if i use row number one so i'll get only this one and I have to get, I have to compare with the, this row with the entire data set is overlapping or not using recursive CT. Okay. So I have to use here row number equals to one. I have to make as recursive CT. I have to give as name as CT R underscore CT S. Okay. So I have to close here. Okay. So I have to use union all and I have to compare with the, this entire data with this data. Okay. This row. So I have to use union all, union all. So I have to use select from C R underscore C T R underscore C T only one row. Okay. Only this one row ID row number equals to one. And I have to with join with this main C T and this main C T. I have total entire data set. Okay. So I have to use inner join, inner join C T E on 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 r underscore ct dot row number r underscore ct dot row number and i have to use increase by one so first one is the rn equals to one then two three four five this is the comparable okay equals to cte dot row number correct so i have to need here 
what I need? I have to need here ct dot hall id comma ct dot ct dot from date comma ct dot to date and ct dot row number. Okay, so I have to close here and I have to use select star from select star from r underscore ct. So if I run this query. So here you can say I will get the same row number as a one. Okay, so I have to make as a I have to use the flag variable. So I have to use as a one as flag. Okay, and this here I have to use here case when statement. Case when case when case when I have to check with the this hall ID in the R underscore CT mean this hall ID. Okay, hall ID one equals to main CT dot hall ID equals to one. Okay, R underscore CT dot hall ID equals to CT dot hall ID. First, I have to check the hall ID is the same or not. Suppose here hall ID equals to one, and this hall ID one is check with this hall ID, these three, because these all are the same hall ID. And I have to check here to one to these two hall ID. Correct. So I have to compare r underscore ct dot hall id equals to ct dot hall id, and I have to check one more condition. This from date is between this or not. Okay. So I have to use here r underscore ct dot from date between between ct dot from date ct dot from date. And ct dot to date. Okay, and I have to use again all condition. This r and I have to check already r underscore ct from date. Now I have to check the ct dot from date between between r underscore ct dot from date and R underscore CT dot to date. Correct. Now I have to check here. Hall ID equals to this hall ID, and I have to check this R underscore CT. Mean this R R underscore CT from date between this CT this from date and to date this to date. Now I have to check again here. Or condition this CT from date between R underscore CT or CT R underscore to date. Okay, this condition if true, then I have to set as zero, else one, end, end, plus flag, flag as flag. Correct. If is the same, is the matching. So I I have to keep as flag as a one. If not, if the not match, I have to increase the flag as plus one. Correct. So first, I have to run this query. So here you can see that. So here you can see that if my this uh, this is the overlapping event, so I'll get here flag as a one. If not match, I flag count is the increase by one. So I'll getting here two. This is the new event. This is the this is the overlapping event. So I'll getting here flag as a three three, and this is the not overlapping. So I'll get as a flag as a one. So I have to use here hall ID. Hall ID and I have to take as a minimum of from date, minimum of from date. So I'll get here only five and ma and maximum is the ten. So I have to from date as start date alias, okay. And I have to use here max of max of to date to date as end date. End date is showing some error, nothing error. Okay, hall ID minimum of from date, maximum of to date. So I'll getting here, and I have to use here group by group by based on hall ID and this flag. So if I use flag as a like group by, so this one as a one one group by. This is the second group. This one is the third group, and this one is the fourth group. Okay, so I have to use group by as hall ID. And I have to use as a flag, okay, all ID and flag. So if I run this query, I'll get the expected output. So here you can see that I'll get the all ID one. Even it started the five 
yeah, I have to use count also. So I'll getting the how many total count count star as number of event number of event number of event. So if I run here number of event nothing here I'll get here control x ended and comma then v okay so if i run this query i'll get the expected output so hall id one start date is the 5 january end is the 10 january and number of event count is the three now go with the hall id again one start date 11 january to 15 january number of event count is the one now hall id two uh, start date is the 15 february to 20 february number of event count is the two now go with the hall id two again start date is 21 february to 25 february and number of event count is the only one so i hope you understand this video if you still have doubt please comment on the below if you like this video please hit the like button if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll make this type of video goodbye